From my head to my toes, I am covered with the fire of God, burning me everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in and welcome back once again to the channel, man. I hope you guys are doing good and wherever you are, wherever you're watching Mr. J from, it's always an honor and a pleasure to have you stop by and check out what we have to say. And uh, I hope to see you in the comment section. I hope to connect with you in the comment section. So do not forget to leave your comments. And uh, this vlog I want us to talk about uh, somebody sent me a message and said, uh, Mr. J, how can you be supporting somebody who won uh, the Miss Universe in a country where she doesn't have an ID? So I want us to talk about that. But before we do, man, hey, before we do, do not forget, man, it's always an honor and a pleasure to have you check Mr. J out. And I would like you to please join the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the like. So ladies and gentlemen, um, it seems as if our black brothers and sisters down south are not going to let this sister ride off easily and uh, you guys know the situation of uh, former Miss South Africa, uh, sister goes by the name Chidima Adesina Vanessa and uh, you guys know the whole scandal that was was made and um, how the black South Africans could not stand that another black sister uh, with a foreign name was actually going to be representing them in the Miss South Africa. Uh, first of all, I want you guys to understand that um, from its creation in the 1950s, man, uh, the institution of Miss South Africa, uh, it was created just for the whites in South Africa. So let's just get that of perspective because uh, now it explains why our black South Africans are very comfortable uh, having picked a whole lot of more white Miss South Africans than blacks. But I don't want us to dive into that, but I want us to talk about this whole issue of this brother reaching out to me and telling me that uh, Miss Chidima winning Miss Universe Nigeria, she doesn't even have an ID in the country. Now, I don't, I don't get it. What, what is the problem? South Africa, my black South African, what, what is really the problem? Like you guys blamed this little girl for something which her parents did apparently without her notion. It's not as if she was, you know, what, eight years old, five years old, and then her parents decided, you know, in an attempt to give her a better shot at life, uh, you know, the identity situation, and then you guys are blaming her for what she knew nothing about. Now, I want to first of all want to praise this sister because uh, we have not seen her break upon all these backlashes going back and forth, this trolling, this unnecessary, you know, propaganda that our black South Africans have been putting on her. She has not broken one, one bit. Black don't crack. I mean, so the story goes like you guys said, okay, uh, you didn't want her to be in the Miss South Africa. And she pulled back after it was realized that it, they found like that uh, home, of, home affairs, for home office found like that, uh, okay, there was her mother stole another person's identity. So her mother stole another kid's identity. But right up to now, we have not seen any press conference from the so-called family that her mother stole the identity from. Now, knowing my black South Africans very well, knowing how you guys are vile and xenophobic, well, some of you guys, I'm not going to generalize, some of you guys, it is still unbelievable to me and I, st I still find it hard to believe that her mother stole the identity of another South African family and right up to now, we have not heard anything from that South African family whose daughter's identity was stolen. 
what is happening don't you guys see that there are so many holes in some of these propagandas that you guys are, are trolling online now your minister uh this gang member minister what's his name the minister of sports just went all xenophobic towards this sister i, I asked myself what is a 50 year old ex-gang ex-convicted now politician trying to do attacking a little girl a girl that could be his daughter but now you guys reached out to me and said mr j but she doesn't have an, a nigerian id which one of you guys have gone to nigeria and found out that she doesn't have a nigerian id but let me bust your bubbles Unlike South Africa, as long as you can trace your lineage to either a Nigerian mother or a Nigerian father who of course do have relatives in Nigeria because her father is Nigerian, okay, she's from Taraba state, which is what she represented, uh, and then she went back home and they embraced her. All like you folks, they loved her. Her name is good enough. And if she is in South Africa and rumor had it that you guys canceled and rejected and denied her ID, uh, the, the home affairs, her ID, her passport were canceled, I am pretty sure that this whole nonsense of her not having an ID is the pettiest thing that any person can ever come up with. So you guys tried very hard. You kicked her out of your Miss South Africa competition and you voted for a white person, which is, hey, 1950, that was what it was created for. And you guys obliged to that rule to you folks. She pulls out and then she goes to her father's land where there is so much love, there is so much support, there is so much, you know, hospitality. And then she gets into the tournament and then to your greatest surprise to you guys your hateful vile nature surprise she wins the miss nigeria and she's going to be going toe to toe with your own candidate who won in south africa and then not having anything to say or just being mad that chidima won miss night miss universe nigeria oh you guys came up with the, you, you know, okay let's try some other thing and then you hit with the whole oh she won um in a country that she doesn't even have an ID. do you guys see how petty and how redundant that whole concept is what is it about her that you guys really, really want to ensure that you mess up her life? I don't even know. Are you guys trying to see her break? That is your, your, your fellow black sister. But of course, with the history of appetite and the history of always kissing ass to the Europeans in your, in your country, you guys feel like the Nigerians are supposed to reject this sister. Well, it's rather unfortunate. She has won. Deal with it. Stop reaching out to Mr. J talking about one unnecessary thing or the other. She not if, if she doesn't have an ID, I bet you that winning Miss Universe, even the governor, and they will give her everything she needs. Focus on your candidate now. Ensure that your candidate is prepared to meet Chidima in Mexico because it's not gonna be easy. And if Chidima should rank higher than your candidate, then that is when some of us will come and ask you these questions. But do not, why are you guys worried about ID and stuff like that? What, what is it about this? What is really wrong with you folks? Like, this is the question I want to ask you. The fan who came out and tried to ask me these questions. What do you have? What vendetta you have against this little sister? Her mother and her parents did something in the past. She wasn't involved in that. Let it go. For real though, let it go. It just goes to show how petty you guys are. It's, yeah, man, like, it's, it's, it's really terrible. Like, like man, it's, it's really terrible. That's my time. Leave your comment and let us know my Nigerian family. Man. Hey, bravo once again to this queen for winning Miss Universe Nigeria. It's an honor to see that you went all through these things and you did not break and you stay focused and then you bag the crown. Keep living your life, sis. Bless.